Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we are doing another unboxing, a very exciting one. We've got our Venom Pro Power Supply. So this is a 1350 watt, 60 amp DC power supply, perfectly suited for the Venom Pro Touch, 1350 watt charger that we've also got. So. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, wow, this thing is hefty. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it out of the box here. And it comes with a power cord. Let's put the box in the back here. And actually I'm gonna move it down here out of the way. So, got the instruction manual over here. All right. Cool, so just uh, taking a quick glance at the specs. All right, so you can take either 100 volts or anything from 100 volts to 240 volts AC. And, you know, there's some folks that have hacked other sorts of power supplies, like computer power supplies and whatnot. Uh, I, I, we were actually going to attempt that or thinking about attempting that ourselves, but um, our good friends over at Venom sent us this very cool stuff. Just going to take it out of the protective packaging here. All right. So this is cool. You can, it's an adjustable output here, so you can go anywhere from 12 volts to 24 volts. It's also got a USB output on the uh, the front here. All right, and the output are X XT nineties. And the outputs here are XT nineties. It's got two of them, so that's pretty nice here, uh, and that will pair perfectly with the input on our. Venom Pro Touch. So very cool. And then the back is just a power switch and the plug. All right. Three cooling fans on the side. And looks like it's got these adjustable feet on the bottom so you can prop it up as well. Very cool. Definitely a welcomed addition to our garage here. So I'm gonna lay it flat and I'll go ahead and plug this in and fire it up. So we've got our power supply, our Venom Pro Power power supply plugged in now to the wall. We've got the XT90 uh, cord, input cord going from our Venom Pro Touch into the power supply. Uh, there's a switch on the back we can go ahead and fire this up. All right, and you can see the screen read out there. You can see the charger power up as well. Let me just get the screen to display here. Looks like the contrast on the, the touch screen is probably a little bit too hard to read on there. Yeah, or to see on the on the video here so apologies for that but this is all powered up uh, there's some initial setup parameters uh, we'll go through the um, the setup here uh, pro pretty probably not worth doing on video because uh, the the our camera won't be able to pick up on that anyways on the output of the screen uh, but really excited to get this going. Uh, you know, this is by no means uh, a charger for uh, the the entry level uh, enthusiast here. But definitely, when you when you want to start charging larger packs at um, uh, larger capacity packs at uh, higher wattages, right? Uh, just more power output, uh, especially all these new lithium uh, packs. You know, these lipos that can take uh, multiple 
um, multiples of their their capacity, right? Like a, a 5,000 milliamp battery that, that uh, can be charged at, um, you know, at, uh, at 3C or whatnot, right? So uh, basically 150, um, no, sorry, at 15 amps there, right? Uh, you want something that'll put out a little more juice to charge those packs quicker, or if you're into racing and you want to charge and discharge at high rates to uh, essentially lower the internal resistance of the battery pack, you know, warm it up a little bit before uh, before your your heats, right? Before your uh, your race, this is the way to do it. So, again, thanks. A big shout out to our, our friends over at Venom for uh, sending these over. Uh, we will definitely be putting these to good use here. Uh, we'll uh, we'll probably do some uh, some more unboxings here and uh, get some uh, get some packs charged up here uh, using our Venom Pro Touch and Pro Power combo. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.